new location. How vaguely interesting. Yeah, instead of the wall or bookshelf I usually do downstairs, we're now going to be doing a... We're now going to be doing reviews in my room. So, I don't know if this is going to be permanent or not, considering the reflections and the fairly noticeable echo, but hey, we'll keep it until I find something better. Uh, but more to the point, here's an iPhone 4. You can tell it is an iPhone 4 by the antenna break, which the 4S did not have. And here's an iPod Touch 5th generation. You can tell it's a 5th generation because it has the 4-inch screen, is blue, has the flash that the 4th generation did not have, and came with a flimsy lanyard when I bought it. So, without further ado, I'm going to be doing a speed test to see which one is faster and, you know, just performs overall better. First test is the power on. One, two, three, go. Yeah, so as you can see, iPhone 4 definitely lacking as compared to the 5th gen iPod Touch. And as you saw, the iPhone 4 is so slow that the iPod Touch could actually go into standby for, and I timed this, 8 seconds. So, another interesting thing about the 4th and 5th generation, the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 5th generation is the sound quality. Here's the slide to unlock sound in the iPhone 4. And here's the same sound in the iPod Touch 5th generation. As you can hear, definite, definite uh, change. So the next test we're going to be doing is the internet. I'll pull up Safari on the iPhone 4 and YouTube on the, well, the YouTube uh, icon thing I have for my inbox on the 5th generation iPod Touch. Go! And yep, as predicted, the 5th generation did win and the iPhone 4 was lacking by about a second. So, the final test we're going to be doing is an app. I'm going to be loading up Angry Birds on the iPhone 4 and Angry Birds Space Lite on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Go! The iPhone 4 actually started up earlier. I don't know if that's just a feature with the Angry Birds face, but either way, the 5th generation iPod Touch won, and the 4 was lacking again by about a second. So, as you can see, A5 does actually make quite a difference, a surprising difference, and, you know, if A4 to A5 makes that big a difference, just imagine the transition between the iPhone or the iPod Touch 5 and the iPhone 5. So, you know, processors actually do make quite a difference. And of course, you know, if you don't care about processors or you don't care about speed like I do, you do also have the 4 inch display and the fact that it comes in a variety of colors and of course, again, comes with a very flimsy lanyard. So, in the end, if you care about speed, get the iPod Touch 5. If you care about features, get the iPod Touch 5. But, if you want an affordable phone, 
even if it is secondhand or even straight from the Apple Store, iPhone 4 is the phone for you. Anyway, bye!